Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about getting floxed by antibiotics. So I just recently had a third pectoral surgery where I was prescribed antibiotics after the surgery. So the ones I originally was taking were fine, but I met back up with the surgeon and I was prescribed IV antibiotics where I've been dosed it through my pick line. And I was also given ciprofloxacin, which is a fluoroquinolone brand uh, or genre of antibiotic. So I've been used to the cephalosporin ones, which have been very mild to the body, but I took the Cipro and um, within a few hours, I was having some like dry aching pains in my ankles. I didn't really know what was up because I had no, ever, no other issues with antibiotics before, um, but I had this weird pain in my ankle and I was basically on bed rest this whole time. So I was laying in bed and I finally get up to get out of bed and I felt like my ankles were gonna collapse out from under me, but also my calves were very tight and my knees were pain in pain. So I started to get a little concerned because I was very con concerned why my joints were starting to feel really weird and it kept progressing to get worse and worse. Um, so I started looking into Cipro and other the fluoroquinolone type of antibiotics and I found out that there's actually a huge community of people that have been permanently damaged by these things which was very concerning to me because I didn't know that this was even possible at this point uh, from an antibiotic but this is one of the strongest antibiotics out there and yeah it can be really rough I was very confused um like confusion is another side effect of it I was confused <laughs> what was going on I was very like kind of out of it my vision was getting blurry um, and this is because these category of drugs can cross the blood brain barrier so it can cause things like confusion and dizziness which I was also starting to get dizzy um, ears ringing was another side effect I didn't find online but my ears are still ringing now um, very strange but I was having all these harsh side effects and it was all lining up and I was concerned because I was like this isn't good but at the same time I also want to make sure that I'm going to treat whatever's going on with my body, which I think the IV antibiotics is going to be doing a good job for that. But I was, I was concerned. I really wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to just hop off of this because I was just being scared or anything like that. Uh, so I took another dose and it continued to get worse and worse and worse. <laughs> um, I didn't end up sleeping the night that I took it because I just had weird racing thoughts. My heart would start pounding and then my ears would be ringing. Um, but also just laying in bed, my like my spine was kind of hurting. It felt like I did deadlifts or something like that. Like my central nervous system was feeling kind of rough. Um, and I felt pain in my hips as well. The hips, knees, calves, and ankles were all like painful to use. Um, so I was, had to go to the hospital because I was, <laughs> I'm going through a lot right now with things. So they're keeping an eye on what's going on and... I told them what was happening to me and they told me to stay, stop taking it right away because that's a really weird reaction. Um, and I, I was kind of shocked because I didn't know that what I was taking was really going to be that harsh. And then I read online that it can cause permanent damage from these things. Um, I only took two doses, which is like not a whole lot, but it <laughs> like I've seen people online with issues the same. Um, it can cause an increased chance of tendon rupture, which I just, my very first surgery was to repair my pec tendon back to the bone. Um, and then some complications came afterwards where my body was trying to remove the suture anchors and there was an infection in there and I had another surgery to wash it out. And then I had a third surgery to finally remove the suture anchors, which I think was causing the whole issue all together because it's starting to heal back finally. But I had like a zombie looking shoulder at one point and I was, wasn't even on these antibiotics and now it's starting to get better and I'm on this, I was on this very intense one. So this is kind of just an awareness video to make sure that you look what you're taking and make sure that like, obviously your doctor is going to know best. I, this is not medical advice in any means, but just be conscious, I guess, of what you're putting in your body. Cause I was just like the, there's a FDA black box label on this drug and the doctor didn't warn me about it. And the pharmacist didn't really warn me. They just told me don't take this with milk because calcium can impact its absorption. 
But looking into this further, you also can take NSAIDs like ibuprofen well on this as well because they can cause even worse side effects. So yeah, you can, I guess, get impacted by even just a single dose. I'm still feeling my joint pain and my knee pain and I can't really even go for walks right now. Um, up and down the stairs is even a challenge right now, which is not like me whatsoever. It like I've read reports that people feel like a bomb went off in their body when they started taking this. And that's honestly how I kind of felt because I went from, you know, I'm a very healthy person to having pain, just walking and getting out of bed. Like I honestly felt like my body aged like 50 or 60 years, just in a matter of a day. So something was up there, but I was told to stop taking it. And again, everyone can respond differently to these things. So it's really just, uh, it's, <laughs> it's hard to say how your body will respond. And that's why it's good to have medical supervision with things like this. Cause I mean, if I just didn't realize it was the antibiotic and just thought maybe it was just getting like, it's starting to get cold out now. Maybe I thought my joints were just getting stiff cause of that, which they never had before. I could have just completely missed that and kept taking it. And then who knows down the road, a tendon rupture can happen. And for some reason, the literature shows that it, these, the fluoroquinolones will target the uh, Achilles tendon more so than any other uh, area and the weight bearing joints like your ankles and knees, which is really not good because Achilles tendon uh, surgery and recovery is one of the worst things ever. Like I'm still going through pec tear recovery and I could not imagine Achilles tendon. So yeah, that's something else I guess to be afraid of, but I was smart enough to get off it now. Unfortunately, it does seem like these effects can take a while to get out of your system. And I've read things about taking more magnesium, zinc, and calcium to help pull it out of the body. Yeah, not sure how much that would work, but I know magnesium good to take. And I've been taking magnesium for a while. I'm a personal trainer and I know it's a pretty safe thing to take. So I'll take magnesium to hopefully help reduce some of the side effects of Cipro and getting floxed, which I never knew was a thing until now. So yeah, you can get floxed for antibiotics and just kind of wanted to bring a bit of awareness to that because it can be very scary for um for so, like for someone that just didn't know I didn't know and I my whole body was just aching so it's what it is though and uh yeah go talk to your doctor again none of this is any medical advice just this is my purely what I went through so um yeah go talk to your doctor if you're taking one of these things and you feel like it might be impacting you in some way because there's a lot of antibiotics out there I was told by nurses like don't even worry about it. there's a lot of antibiotics out there so um, they'll probably get you something different. I'm just waiting to hear back on if I'll have something different or if the IV antibiotics will be fine enough. Um, but my shoulder is not draining for the first time in over a year. So I think the surgery to remove the suit drinkers works. So yeah, this is, I guess, just my update on getting floxed and, uh, post-surgery. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my other videos. I've talked a bit about my pec tear injury in, um, variety of different experiences that I've had with it. So yeah, go check those out too. And thank you for watching.